Hey everybody, CT Hippo here. As you can see from the video, we've got a new shipwreck to take a look at. Uh, the story on this one started last year at a uh, fire department function. I was talking to another firefighter who had lived in the area here his entire life, and uh, I'm talking about the exploration I'd been doing on the Charlotte. And he mentioned that there was another wreck and near Strawberry Point on Lake Watcom that was occasionally visible when the lake was very low. The uh, ribs would actually poke up through the water. And I got him to show me on a map where it was and then kind of got busy and didn't think a whole lot more of it. Kind of filed it away as, you know, something to do one of these days. And, uh... Earlier this year, I was doing some research on logging railroads around Lake Watcom, looking for other places to check out, and uh, stumbled across a history of some of the steamboats on the lake. And lo and behold, came up with a name for this wreck, which I had not yet visited. Um, she was originally built before the turn of the last century as the Mike Anderson. Uh, was moved to Lake Watcom probably right around 1900 and renamed the Breed. In 1901, she caught fire and was damaged, and uh, was rebuilt at a shipyard at Strawberry Point, which is no longer there. In 1904, uh, during a nighttime crossing of the lake hauling passengers, she again caught fire, and uh, the captain beached her at uh, just north of Strawberry Point, and was able to get the passengers and crew off without injury. However, the boat burned to the water line and sank. Um, I've only been able to find two pictures of the Cora Blake. Um, that was her final name. The This first one taken, I'm told, at uh, the Bloedel Donovan Dock, where Bloedel Donovan Park is now, where the sawmill was at the time. And then this one, after she burned and sank, showing her um, boiler and stack still sticking up in one of the king posts. On the left, uh, to forward of the canoe there you can see her bow bow post bow yeah the pointy end of the boat but that uh, by this time and I have no idea when this picture was taken um, there was uh, nothing left of the superstructure again that she burned the waterline in 1904 so uh, you've probably noticed in the video that there's a lot of bricks on the bottom especially around the bow and as you can see from uh, the the picture of her after she burned, um, that's where the, the firebox for the boiler was. These early lake steamboats used four foot long pieces of wood, you know, basically boards or offcuts from, uh, from the mills or whatever else, would be fed into the boiler and um, produce steam to turn the paddle wheel. So that explains why you have all the bricks. Those were fire bricks from the from the firebox that fed the boiler at the bow of the boat. I'm planning to do more uh, more work on this wreck as I get the time. It's kind of in an inconvenient location. It's three and a half miles from either boat launch, and so uh, not easy to kayak to. But uh, expect more information and more video of the wreck. We'll see you later on.